Like a blast of a ship's whistle or a click click clack of a train's wheel. Travel can be insistent. The second you leave home, it starts demanding that you tell its story. It tugs at your elbow, it turns into a daily pest. But I sure am enjoying it. I sure am having fun doing what I'm doing because I love it. And what we are doing should be recorded. Snap, photos, videos, vlogs, whatever you say. You can't give it a miss. Although there are lots of ways to tell a story of a trip, travelers tend to pour their experiences into prose. Think articles, think diary entries, think blogs, shoot blogs. With everyone these days on the hunt for information, for tips and lists and facts, the poetry in travel film has often been neglected. at the moment if need be I'll pull them out and put them in just when required because it's a nice bright sunshine day you want to take a look the sky looks clear mm -hmm. I think it's a bright shiny day yeah. I'm gonna just leave it be for now this is the other window right there the ride of day two. The team is all geared up. Vehicle is loading up the stuff. Mm, and that's team in the camp. Some of them in the camp, some in the room. And that's my room. It looks absolutely messed up. Look at this. It's all messed up all over. Terrible. It's time to pack everything. Good going. I'll see you in a bit. It's been late and I'm going to rush off. I'm just going to put on my jacket. This will do no damage. That's all. Hey, miss. Good morning. We're here at 10 a.m. Dot. Headed out for a day two. Day two. Headed out to Sarchu, the Sarchu Valley. Awaited destination, at least in this part of the journey. One of the most awaited destinations. Looking forward to it. Let's see where we go from here. Thank you very much. Catch you around. Thank you very much. I hate to be late, but I'm always running late. That's where we are. So, we're all geared up. I get to go. I'm packed up. Bag one, bag two, bag three. Here is a sneak peek at my room. It looks a little less messy today. Anyway, so oops, put on my bag. Goodbye, Jispa. And the hotel at Jispa. Here we go. Taking off. Wow. This valley looks indeed super cool. This is being one with the nature in every way possible. Anyways. I'm headed out, need to watch my foot because I can't see the stairs. Okay, looks like all the doors are closed. All set to go. 10 o'clock was the reporting time and I'm just here at 10, 10 dot. So, I'm a late. Don't know. A few of the bags, a few remain to be loaded up. That means I'm not the only one who's late. Drone sits there, the 
GoPro kit sits there and my DSLR. All right, I think that's looking pretty good for now. Everybody, I think, is doing the breakfast. Right, good morning, how are you? All good, all good, good morning, for good all good for day two. All good for day two? Yes, all set. Uh, all cheered up. Here is the team. Good morning. All geared up? All ready for two, day two? Huh? No. Enthusiasm dying out? No, no? No. Not sure? Not huh? Can we see some excitement? Huh? It increased. It's increasing. Good. Okay. Oh, okay. Coming up, no? No, it's coming up, no? I think, it's, uh, just, I think a bread omelette is good. Yeah, I think paratha is going to be a little too much. Uh-huh. All foods are good. Are you serious? Are you serious? Done. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Sorry. Possible bread omelette? Huh? One bread omelette. Thank you. Ha, two bread. Ha, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Just uh, give me a heads up on what's happening today. We'll yeah. be starting in about 15 minutes uh -huh. and we'll cross through one of the Either most beautiful passes in mm -hmm. Witness a beautiful mountain lake, uh -huh. Suraj Tal. Uh -huh. And after that, uh, Suraj Tal. Uh, yeah. That's what you're talking, telling me about. Chandra Tal and Suraj Tal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's perfect. what uh -huh. And we'll reach Sarchu, camp there in the evening. Uh -huh. So that's the plan for the day. So it's, it's, a, it's a light day, 85 kilometers of flight today. Wow. And 85 uh, kilometers, that's it? That's it. Wow. And it will be difficult. That's a big relief, huh? Uh, <laughs> difficult. Huh? It will be difficult. Oh, oh, okay. Five hours, approx. Uh -huh. And we'll uh, just keep relation with the views. So we are at 10 5, 10 05, okay? And we are hoping to be there about 4 5 ish. Okay, yeah, 4 5 ish? Yeah. Okay. Hope all goes well. Oops. As you heard the rain, that's as well I wait for the breakfast. Everyone's finished. My part of the booty. The buffet is all empty. No, no, but the kitchen. <laughs> The, the kitchen, uh, the ladies are make, preparing some stuff. Oh, no, they're preparing, I've already told them. I've already told them. So, bread omelette, no? So, bread omelette is happening. So, those are the ladies who are making some bread omelette right here. So, that's some hot breakfast, okay? And light and fresh. And how? Perfect. The fresh, hot bread omelette. So here we are, just wrapped up my breakfast and yeah, had to pick up some of these. You know, these are these are no nuts and these are no these are some serious medicinal value. Garlic. Garlic at the And no women come close to me. There you go. Ah, you're gonna hear some serious thumping sounds. And, uh, and I still have to pop a few of those garlic. They are hard, they are pungent, they are potent, highly potent. Garlic has got seriously good medicinal values. And everybody knows about it, isn't it? But this is highly recommended uh, to have in, in these situations. It just keeps your body warm. And, and if you have an empty stomach, it's not highly recommended, but if you have an empty stomach, it shoots up your blood pressure in no time. That's when you need to pop a lot of dry fruits and nuts. Okay, and dates especially. Okay. So that's about it. So that's about four garlics down. I'm getting geared up. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, you sure you want to endorse that? This is definitely not my These bag. Are, this is not your no, bag. No, this huh? is not my bag. No, sure. No. <laughs> so no, are you sure? No, no, I'm not. This is not my bag. Oh my God, what are you doing? Show this bag. So no, get in trouble. Huh? Yeah, it's some serious trouble. Here we are. This is the resort. It's called the Himalaya Homestay and Greenland Camp, Jispa. Jispa, that's where we are. And here is the team awaiting the departure. And as I mentioned, this is the beginning of day two. Beginning of day two from Jispa to Sarchu Valley. Looking forward to this, immensely rewarding. So there we are, a bunch of riders getting together, all gearing up for the ride of day two, the ride of Nirvana. See, 
these are the last thing you want to see. I hope he's safe. I hope he's secure. Anyway, so we've started our day two from Jisba. Looking forward to this. Immensely, immensely rewarding. Well, I'm going to enjoy the little things because they matter the most. These are the people who protect every people of this nation. No caste, no creed, no religion. Our brothers, our sister, all alike for them. And they continue to serve us only to keep our home safe and our family secured. Well said, Sandeep. Jai Hind, this is a food for thought. Much respect. I stand, I salute, because none deserve better. Why? You've never got a bill for the freedom you enjoy. Because someone already paid for it to all the veterans of every branch of the defense. Thank you for placing your life on the line so I may live mine. The mountains are calling. Let's hit the road. A lot of the people out there must be wondering what's so much fun in doing what we're doing? Why get out of that comfort zone? A complete and total contrast, isn't it? Bravo girl, much respect. It's a top sun. It's a top sun as you can see. This heat, this terrain. There's no point in explaining it. The point is in doing it. There's no point in seeing it. The point is in experiencing it. There's no point in watching it. The point is in being there. Trust me, the fun is not in explaining it. Seven kilometers more to go before Balchara arrives. She's a rider and a solo rider on these terrains. Not a joke. A lot of respect, that woman. You rock. Good job. Pedal on. Keep it up. To me, it's a treat, a treat to watch these bikers. I mean, the cyclists. Immense respect for all of these guys, just to get out of that comfort zone. And that's where the real life begins. Thumbs up. And as we're going higher, we are at a good 4,500 meters. 1,300 meters above sea level. I repeat, 4,500 meters above sea level. This is for nature and human. The real heroes, they make our roads safe. Trust me, it's getting chilly. It's best if I just strap this up. U-turns are really sharp. Really sharp. These terrains are such high risk propositions. Salish, sorry, don't you feel like a loser now compared to all of these guys who are pedaling it out versus us on a motorbike? Bravo! What's the fun in doing it? Trust me, there's no fun explaining it. 
What do you think, Silish? You cannot explain the feeling. That That's right. right. Unless until you have driven on these roads, you you should not be calling yourself a proper driver. <laughs> That's right. Proper, you, you just cannot let your concentration slip for a second. Absolutely, especially not on these terrains. Definitely not on such an altitude. And yes, this is Surya Thal, as in Suraj Thal or Surya Thal. It's a sacred body of water. Literally means the lake of the sun god, and lies just below the Balacha Pass in the Lahol and Spiti Valley of Himachal Pradesh. And it's the third highest lake in India. As it enters the Jammu and Kashmir, it is renamed as the Chenab River. Also meets Chandratal, meaning the Lake of the Moon. The name of the lake originates from its crescent shape. Yeah, it's about 30 kilometers from Suraj Tal. The myth goes that son of Sun God, this Surya Tal, met the daughter of Moon God somewhere here, and they started this love affair of sorts. This is also the start point of the Bhaga River. and it can't get any better or fresh than this we actually drank from that water and trust me uh, i had almost about 750 ml of water from there hydrated myself and trust me it tastes better than any mineral water in the world straight from the foothills of himalayas comes this mineral water any human can produce ever no packaged drink can come anywhere close to this riding through the snow cap mountains you're riding through some rocky mountains you're riding through all the slush through all the loose gravel through all the concrete and tarmac it can't get better than this you couldn't have asked for more what a terrain what a ride a ride of a lifetime and this is as silesh mentioned earlier in the day this is the best place the best route ever to put your riding skills to test and you cannot call yourself a rider until you've ridden on these stretches it be cyclist it be motorist any biker in the world or a pillion rider like me this is indeed a true test as the team is ascending up to the balchula peak and then to the surcha valley that's the biggest pass right here i could stop but to actually take you through this one as the mist goes this spot behind me this spot behind me take a close look is called the shahid sainik bhavan this used to be an army point but the mist goes that there is a cannibal i mean the cannibal still exists around and which is why this is in the ruins at the moment with a stone marker in front of it reading right here shahid sainik bhavan left untouched for decades i suppose a half done is a visual treat in itself so as the legends would have it this place is a haunted place and some soldiers died here so would you say an indo china war of sorts happened here no no war at the balachala pass these men were killed and eaten by a local man and and these are the three names inscribed on these walls as you would read commander ak washisht as i can read and mk anil team commander i'll just pan the camera for you to have a wider look at the space i wouldn't deny the fact there's something something eerie about this place if i had to literally translate this would be martyr's house or the martyr's mansion i don't want to judge too early I don't want to just say nothing. Shahid Sainik Bhavan as you can see right behind me. Wow. Uh -huh. Without much further ado, I'm going to go and catch up with the team right here right now. 
Goodbye, Sayonara, Shahid Sainik Bhavan. In the middle of nowhere kind of building, it's too hard to ignore. But only a few are aware of the interesting and rather peculiar story behind this. Anyways, bygone is bygone. Happy to have witnessed it. Happy to have been there, touched that place. The Barlachla is a name way too familiar. It is indeed a high altitude pass in the Zanskar River, connecting Lahul district of Himachal Pradesh in Jammu and Kashmir. It is situated at about 4,890 meters above sea level. This is what you see is ice. And is considered to be the most treacherous pass due to the heavy amount of snow it receives each year. Closing down the road, people have often gotten stuck at Manali Leh Highway because of the unexpected snowfall at the Balachla. It is one of the places where you can always expect to find snow, no matter which month of the year you go. Now, if you don't call that adventure, what is adventure? All the high mountain passes have posts, and so did Balachla. But the post here was the toughest one because of the heavy snowfall at the top. And yes, we are going to ride past all of this. This is the last thing you want to do to these beautiful places. This beautiful mother nature. Leave less of a carbon footprint here or wherever you be. And yes, it is possible. this Swiss tents are, we, are these the Swiss tents where we supposed to be settled tonight wow boy 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 god help me oh 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 what the beep hey I think we dropped the silencer dude alright 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 all right. so we are halting we are halting here is this our night halt tell me this is the night halt so boys and girls here we have arrived ha huh, yes this is it so this is the Swiss tent behind me and this is where we are to be settling 
This is our destination for day two. It's 10 past five. Wow. So we are earlier, earlier than expected. Planet Himalaya Travel Adventure, PCUSTD, DSPT, and Satellite Phone. Way to go, boys. Way to go. 10 kilometers from here is the border, the border of Himachal Pradesh, and the start point of Jammu and Kashmir, JNK. This is the Manali Leh Highway, Barchungla Pass to Leh. This is the main midpoint, wide, varied range, very desert like. This is what awaits us for tomorrow. That's about it. Wish us luck. Take a good peek at this as the greenery dies out and, and the desert land begins. And don't leave us high and dry. Just absolute contrast. So while we all are settling in, relaxing, stretching our back, freshening up, there are these boys who are still at it. That's Amen for you. Yeah. No, no, that's Amal, that's Kamal. Kamal is also the co-pilot on drone. And that is Rahul. Okay. So these three boys, they do not rest yet. Okay. And they do not rest. And thank you very much, boys, for all the support. For all the support. This is one of my favorite colors, the road and field the bullets. And in India at least, there is no serious carpenters to these guys. And and not be for That's the team. Everybody's here. Everybody's here? Yes! yes. Super cool. Okay, do you guys want to tell me it's the end of day two, right? Yes. End of day two. Do you want to just quickly tell me how is the right way? It's been extremely treacherous, I know. But just describe it one word, quickly, one word, quickly, everybody. Dead! Breathless! Okay. Hello, I'm asking. Hello, exotic, exotic. Hello, tomorrow, bye. Can I go to the loo? Hips don't lie. Hips don't lie. Thank you. Let's do United. So that's end of day two.